Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best DVD rippers for Mac. It's called Mac X DVD Ripper Pro here. So what this app does is that it allows you to convert your DVD contents, whether they are physical DVDs, iOS files, or copied DVD files, into various video formats, including MP4, MPEG, MOV, AVI, and so on. It also provides you with the option to convert the DVD for your iPhone, iPad, and a large number of other devices as well. So you can see the features at the top here. We have disk, folder, image, clear, and options. For all-in-one option is the first option here, the disk option. Click on it. You will see that this option, you can do the DVD disk. You can insert your DVD into the drive and it will detect. Or you can also use the DVD folder. This one, it means you copy all the contents from a DVD and put it in the folder. So you can select that folder to convert as well. Or just choose the DVD ISO file. Here. Second option, folder, that's the same thing like this one here. That's why I say the first option is just like all in one. If you click this, it's like the DVD folder. If you click on image or ISO, then it will select the last option, DVD iOS file. So if in case you have an image file, like in my case, I have image file, I would choose the last option and I browse for my ISO file right here, click open and you leave everything else the way it is, click OK. So it will start detecting what's inside that and recommend you with the output profile. So you can convert it to a variety of options. The one that it recommends you to convert to is MP4 or you can change the option by yourself by clicking on general profiles. As you can see here, you can also convert to iPhone, iPad, Android, DVD video copy, HEVC video and a lot more. You can even back up the DVD, convert to various Apple devices or Android pad here like Android tablet. You can also convert to that too or various other devices. So to me, I would just select the recommended one, click done. I mean, for those who are looking for a ripper, a DVD ripper for your DVDs at home, like you have tons of DVDs that you want to convert from those physical DVDs into a soft copy or into a soft format to store in your computer or hard disk so that you can access them anytime you want. And then you can bring it along anywhere you want to. It's really convenient. That's when this app come in. It helps you to convert all of those physical DVDs into the soft copies so that you can get convenient access to them easily. So here you can see these are the whole DVD contents, the movies. So it has like eight titles, which mean eight different movie contents in there. That's what happened with DVD. So usually you want to put them all in a single file. By default, it only select one. So you need to select all of them so that it will convert all into one single file. But also do not forget to click on merge title here so that it will merge all of these together into a one single file. If you want to make some changes before you start converting, you can click on this one here, this icon. So the output is MP4 video, everything is a keep original. You can even change like, the resolution you want it to. Like, you don't want the original, but you want it to play at a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. You can also select that. I'll leave it to the original and you can just leave everything like that. You can apply all, click OK. And also right here, they have hardware encoder. So this one automatically tick, you can click on it to see that my iMac support hardware encoding. So hardware encoding, it will help you to convert faster. You can also use, click here to use high quality engine. So this helps your conversion faster. And my CPU core is at the maximum of four. If you're using the current MacBook, the, the, the M1 Pro Max or M1 Pro MacBook, the one that has just been released, they have up to 10 core CPU. So it would convert much faster. This app claimed to convert as fast as five minutes, but through my experience, it would take me about one to two hours. Maybe it's also due to the hardware restrictions. Like my iMac is 2017, but if you have like the current MacBook or iMac with M1 chip, it will run much faster. So once everything is ready, you can click on run to start converting.
So this is the video that we have converted. After the conversion, let's take a look at the size here. The size is at two gigabytes. If you take a look at the original size of this, this is the original file. The first ISO file is 5.5 gigabytes. So after the conversion, it drops to two gigabytes. And now you can store this on your computer or your external hard disk so that you can have it on the go. If we double click on it to play. This is the Japanese anime. You can see the, the resolution of this. It's not quite like HD because uh, like I said, this is the old DVD. But if you have a high resolution DVD, this app guaranteed to convert your DVD content into MP4 or whatever format you choose while still keeping the high resolution of the video. So you see this app is really cool if you have lots of DVDs or if you're one of those people who are looking for DVD Reapers, this is one of the best for your Mac computer. And currently this app also has some promotion if you go to its website. For Mac OS here, the Mac X DVD Reaper Pro, the full price or the original price was at $59.95 and now it drops to $29.95, 50% drop. You can also buy other apps from this website as well, from this company. They also have Mac X Video Converter Pro, Mac X Media Trends. All of them are 50% discounted. If you're interested, you can come and test it first for free. They have free version as well. So both the paid version and the free version I have included the link in the description. You can check it out. You can test the free version first. And if you're interested, you can purchase this while it still have their 50% discount. This app supports both Mac and Windows, the same price. Okay, that's it guys. This is Mac X DVD Ripper Pro, one of the best DVD converter tool for your Mac computer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.